Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yacht and we're out in uh, Bournemouth today on Gigabyte, our test boat. And we've got our latest IAIS TX AIS transponder product. It's a full function class B transponder, so it sends and receives AIS data. Uh, and it's designed specifically for people that want to use apps on tablets and iPads and phones and Macs and PCs and so on, because it comes just with a Wi-Fi interface ready to connect direct to a tablet. There's also a version of it with an NMEA 2000 interface, so if you want a mixture of both, both traditional MFD and instrumentation system, and also uh, wireless access to a tablet, you can opt for that model. So let's take a look. So here we are with a, with a full function uh, iPad showing our current boat position. Uh, as we zoom out, we've got a really nice overlay of targets on the screen. And we can tap on a target and bring up the information with the boat name, the MMSI number, the course and speed, and also really importantly, the closest point of approach and time to closest point of approach. Here we are on the screen. You can see the red icon on the screen. Uh, I've just got a bit of an incoming wash here, but don't worry about that. And we're going to set off now on a little track. So as we start, uh, as we start heading out, you'll see the boat icon turn around with our heading. We've got a nice overview of all the targets. Uh, have a look around there. Up on the screen, we've got our current position. We can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, it's a great feature on, on Maxi that you can actually change the mapping display. So one of the features is you can either have a, a raster type chart like this, or alternatively we can switch at a flick to a CMAP based chart and have a vector chart. Just depends on what you prefer. A lot of people prefer the vector type approach and vector cartography as necessary. Nice indication of buoys, lights and so on as well. So super full function navigation product ready to go. Now setting it up is a breeze. Basically what happens is uh, the IAIS creates a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can see it here called IAIS TX. Um, just connect to it. It uses a password protected point, which you can customize as you want to. You can also give it your boat's name if you also need to do that. And then once you're connected, the data literally just streams straight across into the Maxi or whatever app you're using. It's compatible with Navionics, Navlink, literally hundreds of different apps. You can also go into its web browser interface. So just open up Safari or any other browser uh, and you can type in the IP address of the IAIS TX and bring up uh, a really neat uh, method of programming it with the boat static data, which you need to do for an AIS. Uh, but you can also do quite a lot of diagnostics, look at the status of the transponder. So we can see at a glance battery voltage, how many satellites are being tracked, um, how many signals have been received. We've received 8,000 signals there. Uh, and the status of the unit. You can also silence the unit if you want to just by touching the button here. So we can silence the transponder if we want to, uh, and we can see it's gone into silent mode. So we're still receiving, but not transmitting. Really nice feature there. So everything controlled through the web interface, which is nice and easy. So that's IAIS TX, our latest transponder, uh, available now and great value for money too.